Our very first tour, we decided to go to Pompeii and the Amalfi Coast. Um, it was a long drive from Rome. Um, and we did have a tour bus that took us directly to Pompeii, as well as a tour guide who explained a lot of the history to us and broke down um, a lot of like the the landmarks that we would pass by. So I think that made it really, really easy to understand um, and put things into perspective. So this was the main entrance. And as you can see, it's a gorgeous day. We had about an hour and a half to walk around Pompeii, the ruins, and um, we tried keeping up with our guide, but again, being seven months pregnant, this did make it difficult. I did get pretty tired. Um, I wanted to hike up to the top of the little um, amphitheater there, so we did like hike up to the top, and then we took some fun pictures, and we just um soaked all of the history and all of the the scenery in and again weather was definitely on our side as we were here exploring so this particular area was a bakery and they did have um lots of shops that were just you know ancient and they were able to kind of research more about the history because as the ash fell, it kind of preserved things in their place. So that enabled, um, you know, researchers to get an in-depth view of what was going on at the time. Okay, so here we entered the bathhouse. And basically, it was um, just an area where, you know, men and women could go and... Um, relax in the spa so the bathhouse was a very important part to the Pompeii culture um, and it was just like a big large area for those um, individuals to go and just you know relax okay and then we entered this really narrow space where there was a lot of other people in different um, tours and then we went to the main part, like the open part. Um, she explained just the different components of that ancient uh, city. And I don't, unfortunately, I couldn't pick up all the audio from my phone as to what she was saying. Um, we did have earphones on, but again, it was just hard to remember everything. I know that was like the main viewpoint where you could see Mount Vesuvius. All right, with a big statue of Venus in front of the sea. Okay, now we can see just the back side of Apollo. Okay, inside they had a museum where you could see a lot of artifacts that they had excavated, and um, they did give lots of detailed information about what each of those artifacts represented or what they meant and then you could kind of see into the lives of um, the individuals at Pompeii at the time because as you can see it was very nicely preserved um, and it was just you know one thing after the other. And this was the part that I was really excited to see was the plastered bodies 
that had been preserved exactly as they were during the moments that um, the volcano erupted. So this is exactly whatever they were doing right when they met their fate. And it was kind of just, you know, preserved through time. Some of them had lots of details that you could see. I know uh, one of the individuals still had his teeth intact. And the other ones were, you know, just there. Like this guy, you could see his teeth. Um, and then the other ones, you could see like the position that they were in as they basically waited for their fate. Okay, so it was time to exit. And this cute cat was just there greeting everyone at the exit. Um, we hopped back on our tour bus and made our way to the Almafi coast, which was probably about an hour and a half from Pompeii. Um, we did have about an hour and a half there, uh, which didn't, no, maybe even less than an hour and a half because I remember we did not have a lot of time to even get dinner. Um, by the time we walked down to the beach, it was pretty much um, time to to you know, head back after one hour. We went to get food anyway, and we barely made it, and that's because we were rushing. Um, but as you can see, it was just stunning views from every direction. And um, yeah, you had to hike down and remember the way you came back up. It was also really, really narrow. Um, going to the Almafi Coast was something I've always dreamed of doing. It was something that I've always, you know, wanted to do when I visited Italy. So I just thought that was like a really cool experience that we got to fit in one day. Um, yeah, so when we got, we got there, we had different options. Like we can go shopping, we walk around and we decided to walk to the to the beach and then we did get dinner. Okay, once we got out of the bus, there were so many cute shops that we passed by. But, um, you know, we weren't shopping. We didn't have enough time to shop because we had something specific that we wanted to do, which was to go to the beach there. And, um, you know, I found some glass, pieces of glass, um, sea glass, and that were really pretty. And then we walked around until we found a place that was, um, you know, just open for for us to eat at. And then I, we found this restaurant. It was so good. We each got margarita pizzas and soaked in the views. And then by the time we knew it, it was already time to go back on the bus and uh, head back to Rome. So the sun, the setting sun was so gorgeous. Um, I tried to take as many videos as I could, but again, being seven months pregnant, um, I couldn't help but fall asleep on the drive home. So it was very enjoyable and I would do it again. It was well worth the 300 and whatever, $50 or whatever it was that I paid. Um, because it was an all day tour that included so much. Uh, it just, it just didn't include food, but still it was really, really nice.